tell me about Kyle Hamilton, first time you laid eyes on him, Brian Kelly. What was that? Well, just you know, a unique player at the position in which he plays, right? Somebody that's 6'4", um, athletic, rangy, uh, you know, great ball skills. And he had no... He had no buts. He had the and. And he can <laughs> come down and play physical. And um, he was a, a team player. And, you know, he did the little things right. He was a captain for me. He had all the other things. He didn't have a but he doesn't do this, but he doesn't do that. So, you know, when you're talking about guys that, um, you know, are going to be successful in the NFL, um, they've got to have a lot of those things going for them, too. And, um, you know, you can see him on the field and what he can do, but he had so much more for me um, as a leader of our football program. And so what can he do at the next level, do you think? Brian? Well, a unique, uh, you know, you know, player in the sense that, you know, the tight end position, the proliferation of talent in the NFL, you know, I mean, you know, all of the tight ends now can stretch the field vertically. He's a guy that can certainly play them and play the ball. Um, you know, he certainly has the ability to come down and play, you know, physical. Um, with his range, he can play in the middle of the field and cover the field. He just is another chess piece defensively that is, that is so unique that you don't get a lot of players um, that have this kind of range, physicality, um, you know, uh, the traits that you're looking for that give you as a defensive coordinator, you know, uh, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, an advantage, you know, tactically. Brian Kelly here on the Rich Eisen Show. How much, how many phone calls do you get from the professional level then about players you, you, you are now officially used to coach? Quite a bit. I mean, okay. you know, when, when you're drafted this high, they're all looking for reasons why um, they shouldn't draft them this high. <laughs> they're not trying to validate. They're all, you know, at this point, they're like, all right, what's wrong with this guy? Right. You know what? You know, <laughs> t- give me a reason why I shouldn't draft them this high. You know, it's it's almost like, I, I, you look, I'll, I'll I'll try to give you reasons why not to, other than the fact that uh, everything that you know about them, the interviews, there's there's nothing fake about them, and I think that that's what I get more than anything else is you know we've had so many first round draft picks and in particular the offensive line too that you know they get a little nervous that it's too too good to be true. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.